welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel don't forget to hit the like subscribe button don't forget to hit the like subscribe button tell a friend tell a friend so AR Ab, don't forget what he says everything's for entertainment purposes as I said he's very entertaining if you don't believe me take a look at this right here take a look at this right here and I'll be back in a second take a look at this right here let me know what you think let me know what you think here well, we go no here we go Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. I know a lot of things that AR Rab was doing was for entertainment purposes, like what he said, I believe, I really do believe so. But you have to admit that all his songs, all his videos, were, if you were to watch him, you would think that all he participate in is criminal activities 24 hours a day. You know, even when he's sleeping, unfortunately, yeah, even when he's sleeping, he just portrays, he just gives out that image as a as a 24-hour criminal. I'm not saying he is, but, but he, Arab, he's 41 years old right now. He's supposed to be a Muslim. And I'm not certain if he's heard him one time in an interview saying he's not even supposed to be rapping because... It's against, you know, the rules of being a Muslim. I'm not a Muslim, I wouldn't know, but I heard him say that. But not only was he rapping, there was rap. He and his fellow associates was rapping about the most heinous things, the most heinous crimes, so vividly detailed in everything. It was actually like a movie, like a movie in a sense after a while. If you just listen to these guys, they just take you on a mesmerizing movie. See what I mean? Mesmerizing movie. So that's what's going on AR at 41 years old, behind the bars. I believe he has four children. But it is what it is. AR app sounds good on the phone. Sounds like a good guy. I'm sure he's a good guy. He's in the feds right now. He's never been in the feds before. I heard him saying, I've never been in the feds before. It's a little different from the state. You know, there's the rules is 100% different. Everything is different, you know. They take what you did from before. Basically, they never erase your past. So all the crimes you committed in the past, they put all those together, and it's like you're committing them for the first time, and they judge you from that here we go here we go so the more crimes he committed prior to getting involved in this situations he have to battle all of those crimes on top of this one but as I'm saying even though AR Apps is an innocent person his videos the way he's on his interviews he just seems like a 24-hour criminal, you know, 20, <laughs> 24 hours. That's what it seems like to me. Don't forget, tell a friend, tell a friend. That's service TV. Here we go. But AR app said you can't trust anyone out on the streets. Anyone who's on the streets, who's doing good, who's successful, making money all the time, you can't trust them because... Nine times out of ten, they probably um you know not right if you know what I mean. That's what he's saying. So I'm assuming when he gets back out, if he gets back out, he's gonna be a good boy because he's gonna know that you can't trust anyone at all. I'm sure it's gonna get to a point when he's not even gonna be able to trust himself. Unfortunately, 
That's how it goes sometimes. That's how it goes sometimes. The story of, of AR at Original Block Hustler.